Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I'm Dave Goodyear here at the homestead of Flat Rock. And today it snowed. As you can see, it was six inches overnight. And there's still a lot of work to get done here uh, before winter comes. And one of those things is, well, the food forest project. Luckily, I scored a load of mulch, and uh, the plan is to start getting that spread tomorrow. And one of the areas that I'll be actually spreading is up here in this end where we'll be having some apple tree guilds and whatnot. But in the spring, you may recall, I planted a bit of sunchokes, and these sunchokes need to come up today because all of this area is going to end up being mulched so um, I have no idea what the yields were like but you can see that the plants actually got quite tall they're almost as tall as me so if the growth above ground is really any indication of what's going on down below then they actually grow pretty good so uh, today we're gonna dig these up and see what I got out of it so I planted one two three four five six seven sun choke, I guess, rhizomes or bulbs, whatever you call them. And uh, today we'll see what we actually get out of it. So I have no idea what the yield is, but let's look at it. This is going to become a permanent fixture in our food forest in certain places. It's a great uh, pollinator attractor and it also has, well, lots of tubers that you can eat. So uh, just bear with me. I'm going to switch the camera around and uh, we'll start digging some of these up and see what we actually got here. All right, so it is pretty cold today. Now the ground is not frozen, uh, which is gonna make pulling these up fairly easy. But I do have to put on a pair of gloves. The snow is pretty, uh, pretty cold. So then I can kind of see what I'm doing. I'll push that out of the way first. And there's some twigs and, oh, that's another one there. I didn't see that one. I'm not that worried if these guys do propagate, so I'm not overly worried about getting all of this up, but it's snowing here now, so you have to bear with me on the camera. I may end up having to shut this off. But you can see the root mass is pretty big. And we have tubers. Now, how much tubers do we have, and are they of good size? Well, some of them are. And we're pretty good. Oh, look, we got some, some life here, which is good. So we got, yeah, what appears to be sun choke tubers, which is pretty cool. So here they are. And there's all kinds of little ones on here, which I'll, I'll pull off also. And I got this bucket right here that uh, I'll start just dropping those into kind of lightly. Now, in all likelihood, there are probably quite a few uh, tubers and pieces in the ground also. So I will get down there with a the shovel and kind of see what else there is. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, this, this one's a big one. Look at that. Okay, so I'll keep digging down through. Like I said, this is going to be the first time for me Oh, the soil is relatively dry down there, growing sunchokes, so I'm not sure really what to expect in terms of yield. Here you go, here's more. Keep in mind, this is all off this, this one plant, which I think that's it for that one. So I'm going to just get down here and, and fork around. Look, that soil down there is completely dry. Look down below. That's amazing. I would have never expected it would be dry like that but we did have quite a dry year so look we're starting to get more down below now and people have told me that yeah they they spread those tubers on the ground and you really do need to get all of them if you don't want them to spread um, I'm not overly worried wow that's a big one look at this one all right this is all from just that one plant and keep in mind of course that that plant is just a flower above ground you know it doesn't 
That's a small nub there. I'll throw that back there and see what happens. Maybe it'll come sometime. And I think that that may be it for that one area. You know, if you look back at the video from before, uh, I'll link it here now, actually, in, in, the, uh, in the video content here above. The uh, amount that we planted was actually pretty small. It was maybe one the size of that. And now we have kind of maybe two pounds on the one plant. And it all came from basically that. I'd say that it's probably a tenfold increase in yield, which I think is pretty good given that, you know, it's... Uh, you know, it wasn't overly fertile soil. I didn't do a whole lot with it. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is right here. Good, good amount coming off of these. This is good. So, the other ones may just have been smaller to start, but it's a great way because you can plant each one of these two, and they will form new plants that you can harvest. So you can propagate them much like, you know, like potatoes. They're fairly, I think, fairly disease resistant. I don't think that they have a lot of soil borne diseases like potatoes, for example. You know, potatoes can be fraught with all kinds of disease issues, blight, and pretty much anything you can imagine, really is white potatoes okay it's not bad actually I'm, I'm actually pretty pleased i think with that given that you know i only had five or six plants there and i didn't really do anything with the soil uh, so that's pretty much it now what did i get well i got about so i planted five pieces basically around kind of this big and uh, like I said I'll link that video here and you can have a look at it and some of them had already started to form plants and I literally just took them stuck them in the ground and I end up getting basically uh, a half of a gallon of tubers now that I can either eat or propagate. All right, so that's it. That's the sunchoke harvest. And uh, was it worth it? Yeah, it was no maintenance. I mean, I didn't do anything with it, unlike potatoes where I hilled them and uh, kind of keep track of them all summer. Uh, I did nothing with these. I just literally stuck them in the ground and they grew. So the question is, is will I do it again? Yeah, sure I will. I'll uh, propagate these now um, at the edges, I guess, of some of the uh, food forest garden. Uh, they are a fairly tall plant. So, um, you know, and I, I'll probably, you know, propagate them along with uh, some nitrogen fixers and whatnot. Sun chokes. Easy peasy. Stick them in the ground, pull them out in the fall, and store them in the cellar. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. You can subscribe to our channel. Uh, we have new content. Try to do it a couple times a month, uh, for sure. Um, if not, once a week, depending on how our time schedules are. You can reach out and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at fr underscore homestead. And, of course, well, on Facebook at the Homestead of Flat Rock. Thanks for joining me.